your boy Damian Cryer and I'm back with another video. So today, man, I decided to make a whole salmon um, from scratch. Um, I made like a piece of salmon before, I think like last year. I didn't really cook it properly, so when I made the video with the salmon, I actually had to throw it away because I did not know what I was doing. So today I decided to come to HEB and get a whole entire salmon and start all over from scratch and see if I can do it right this time. So I'm going to actually get a lemon because the only thing I got at home is the lime. I don't actually have a lemon. So I'm going to find a um, salmon real quick and then I'm going to go home and dice this bad boy up and then make you guys a cooking video today. Also guys, um, as you know, today I think is the first day when I woke up the video would have actually been out earlier today, but I end up waking up late because I didn't realize that the hour hand had changed. So it gives us another hour of daylight. Thank God for that. So now it gets to say daylight a whole lot longer. Down in Texas, that's a good thing because it's warm all year around here. It's not really cold. So that's a good thing for me. So it's going to be daylight later on, which means I can fly my drone later on the day. So guys, I just found the salmon. So I might actually go with this one right here. This one is like $19. So I'm gonna go with this club pack salmon right here. $19 salmon. I'm gonna go home and cook it up. Um, I think last time when I cooked the salmon guys, I had forgot to add like the lemon. I forgot to add the seasoning. I didn't really know what I was doing. It was my first time doing it. So I did some research on how to do the salmon. Now I don't really know what to eat with it. So I'm not gonna really make any sides. I'm just gonna do the salmon part and then show you guys how I do it. And if you guys see something in the video, on this cooking video that I could do different, leave me a comment in the comment section down below after the video and let me know what you think I, sh I, I could do different next time to make my salmon a little bit better. So I'm gonna shut this down and pay for the salmon and get up out of here. And I'll see you guys in a little. Oh man, guys, I thought I had everything I needed. I had to go all the way to the house. And I just said in the earlier clip that I had to get lemons and a salmon. But I ended up walking around, taking a couple pictures with a couple people. And then I realized when I got all the way to the house that I did not have the lemon. So I had to come all the way back up here and grab the lemon. So I found three. Okay guys, so I am finally back home. Um, I have the salmon that I showed you earlier that I went and bought today. And I actually cut it up in four slices. And basically I got the lemon and I have the butter on the stove right now. Um, so I'm letting the butter melt right now. And as you guys can see, it's actually melting around, melting down. And I'm gonna try to get all four slices in this pan. It said to use basically <clears throat> like a clear pan when you're cooking this, um, salmon or seared salmon but i don't have a clear pan unfortunately but the ones i got we're gonna try to make it work so what i did was i got the um salmon you guys have to excuse the noise i have my uh windows open letting some fresh air in the house so i got my salmon and i got my lemon slices what i basically did was i went ahead and i put uh salt and pepper on the salmon i actually put regular table salt and then i used a dose of seasoning salt um, to get it seasoned all the way around and then i used uh, black pepper of course you cannot have salmon without black pepper and i have some extra lemon slices here in this empty bowl so basically what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to actually um take the lemons and i'm going to squeeze the lemon into the bowl because the lemon is going to actually give me like that juice I'm going to squeeze the lemons into this little bowl right here and then what I'm going to do is make like a lemon juice and then once the salmon, um, I think you have to cook the salmon on four minutes per side and once you cook it on four minutes you turn it over um, on the side with the skin and I, I'm, I'm assuming that the skin is starting to fall off as it starts to cook and then I'm going to actually pour the lemon juice that I squeezed out of the juice into the butter while the salmon's cooking. That's gonna give it that zesty, lemony taste. Um, so, this is like, I made this salmon last year for you guys, but when I made the salmon, I actually made the salmon in the oven. And at the time, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really know what I was doing when I was cooking the salmon. So hopefully, this time is better. You know, they always say practice makes perfect. So, um, I'm gonna start squeezing the lemon real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys while I'm squeezing the lemon. 
it's not going to be a whole lot of juice you basically just want to just get like the get it real juicy because this is the lemon juice is actually going to go in with the butter so i want to get all the juice out of it i can that way you have a whole lot of lemon juice i actually cut four additional slices right here for the salmon i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do with that once the salmon is actually ooh, i got the tag that fell off the lemon don't worry guys i washed my hands so i know i'm a very clean person when it comes to this cooking and even if you get seeds in there don't worry about the seeds you can actually pick the seeds out of there as you go along so again once i flip it over after four minutes on one side i'm getting sloppy guys <laughs> once i flip it over after four minutes on one side then I'll actually put the lemon juice inside of the butter, which is actually starting to really warm up now. Um, so again, like I said earlier in the video, if you guys see something that I could do different in my video as far as the salmon is concerned, don't you know? Don't hesitate to leave me a comment because I'm the type of person I believe that practice makes perfect. You can only get better when you do stuff multiple times. So I'm finna ready. Just put the salmon right inside the butter um four minutes on each side so i'm gonna take the bigger piece i'm hoping i can get them all four in here at one time but if i can't i'm not going to worry about it i'll just cook what i can oh i might get three pieces in here guys and so there it is we're going to let that sit there and cook for four minutes on one side and i hope that this comes out the way that i want it to because i never really cooked it like this before also, as you guys know, I am using my handheld tripod while I'm doing this video because I know in a lot of cooking videos, people want to see close ups. And because it's just me holding the camera, if I use my stand up tripod, it's not going to give me the zoom that I need to show you guys exactly what I'm doing from like detail to detail from start to finish. It's going to only show you like certain parts. So I try to do better every time I do a cooking video to give you guys like that close up look. So this is what it looks like right here. And I'm going to have to get another pan or another one of these trays ready for the finished product as it comes out. Um, I'm actually wondering if I should even cook that last piece because it's just me. So it probably wouldn't make sense to have all this salmon cooked up and um, nowhere for it to go. So again, it's cooking now. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off again and uh, let this cook for a minute. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Then actually it said four minutes per side. It's actually been about six minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them over. Also, I'm only going to cook three pieces, guys. That's a lot of salmon for just me. I have one, two, three pieces. I went ahead and just um, put the other piece in a freezer bag. So at a later time, if I decide I want a piece of salmon, I'll just work that piece out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. Oh, look at that. It's actually working, guys. Oh, the bigger pieces. Yes. I was thinking of bigger pieces might have had to. Okay, okay. That looks about right. Now, the lemon juice, guys, here we go. I'm just going to pull the lemon juice right in there, just like that. Right over it. Right over it, just like that. And I'm going to let that lemon juice cook inside that butter. And actually, while it's actually cooking, I'm actually going to just like dip my spoon in it and just kind of put it on top of the side that's cooked for a second or two and give it that good lemony flavor. And we got about... Uh, again, I said four minutes, but <clears throat> I'm one of those guys like when I cook food, even when it says to only cook the food for like this amount of minutes or this amount of time, I'm really, really leery when it comes to my food, especially meats, raw meats. Down, it can be suggested that you cook your food at this temperature for this many minutes. But I'm the type of guy, I like to cook my stuff extremely longer than recommended because... I just feel like that if I go by what the recommended is, the recommended is going to be basically based on their statistics. And I like to base things on my own statistics. So if it says that it recommends that you cook salmon for four minutes, I'm going to cook it for like seven minutes. Well, I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. If it says that, you, that it's recommended that you cook salmon for four minutes per side, I'm gonna cook it for six or seven minutes per side and give it that extra four or five minutes because I wanna make sure that it's well done. I don't wanna put something in my body that's gonna harm me or hurt me or when I digest it, it won't digest as well and I end up getting sick. 
Um, so I try to cook my stuff a little bit more than they recommend it. So again, we're gonna put a little bit more lemon on here, guys. You know, like the buttery part of it. Because it's recommended once you mix the lemon juice in there. Now, I could just like turn it over one more time, which I probably will turn it over one more time just to make sure that this side of the salmon is already cooked gets that good buttery flavor cooked in thoroughly on both sides uh, again this is a dish that i don't get to make often or get to enjoy often so hopefully this is enjoyable and i'm going to do a taste test for you guys today and then we will conclude the video from there and that does look kind of yummy i'm not going to lie that looks really good man and now what i'm going to do is actually Take this smaller piece and set it off to the side right here. Put some of that butter over there because I have these lemons right here. And I'm going to put these in here for a minute. Imagine that. Grilled lemons. Put those in there, spread them out just like that. And let those just cook. So I'm going to let those cook for maybe, I'm going to let the salmon cook for like another two minutes on that side, I'm gonna flip them over again, and then we will be ready for the taste test. Also, man, after this video, I hope that you guys leave me a comment on a cooking video that you guys want me to do next, something that I never cooked before. I've seen some people say meatloaf, that sounds so, so yummy. So I think, I'm, you know what, guys? I think a meatloaf and mashed potatoes would be right up my alley. It's something I've never in my entire life, at my age, I've never, ever, ever cooked homemade meatloaf in my life. So if that's the video that you guys want me to do next, man, leave me a comment down below this video, man, and let me know if that's what you want me to do, or give me another uh, cooking idea for a video that you want me to do. Ooh, that stuff is starting to cook, man. Ooh, wee. Let me see what this side looks like. This side with the skin on it, I just feel like that the side with the skin on it may need to cook a little bit longer. But anyway, I'm going to shut this down for a second, guys, and I will see you guys in a little bit when I take the salmon out, and then we're going to do the taste test or eating part of it. I may just do the taste test of it, and um, I'm going to see you guys very soon. I'm back with the food. Now the salmon is done. I finally got it um, the way that I want it, nice and brown. So here's a close-up of it. This is my first time actually making it like this. So I haven't even had a chance to taste it. As you see, all three pieces. I started off with four pieces earlier in the video, but decided that that's a lot of salmon for just one person. Not saying I couldn't handle it, but it's a beautiful day. I'm trying to fly my drone today. So I'm not trying to get the itis. Y'all know what I'm talking about when I say the itis. So I'm gonna say my grace before I, yeah, I'm drinking a bang because I need this bang to get myself up. If I don't, man, I don't care how nice it is outside. You guys know how Sundays is, man. You eat, you get lazy. That is not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to fly my drone. I charged the battery up last night. So that's what I plan on doing, flying my little drone today. Thank you, Lord, for this food I'm about to receive, Lord. Thank you for my strength, Lord. Thank you for my loved ones, Lord. I ask you to continue to watch over them in every area of their lives and strengthen them in the weakest parts of their life, Lord. I ask you to bless this food, Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, again, before I do the damage. So, I'm gonna give it a try and see. You guys see the top of my head? Because I really can't see the top of my head. It's all good though. So, I actually put the lemon on here. I actually put the lemon inside the pan so I could actually cook it with it. Uh, ooh, you can taste the lemon too. This is actually pretty good, man. This is actually pretty good. To be honest with you guys, I think I actually like this cooked on top of the stove better than I like baked. Because I have tried to bake before. Look how the meat is real pink on the inside. I don't know if you guys can really see that. It 
This is really good. It's like things like this. I'd be wanting to cook stuff like this, but I'd be scared because I don't want to mess it up. Um, but I don't want to jump off track here. I was talking earlier about baked food versus this on top of the stove. Now this one I bought on the package, it said ready for the grill. So I'm assuming that this is, this probably would have been perfect for the grill, but I don't have a grill yet. I mean, I can easily just go get one, but I don't have one as of yet. But I think next time, because I've tried this actually, I've tried salmon in the oven. I think last year I did a video on my channel about how to cook salmon in the oven. And then this time I did it on the top of the stove, which is extremely good. I think next time I'm gonna do the one on the grill. But, mmm, this is really good. So just real quick here guys, before I bring this video to a conclusion, I'll tell you guys again exactly what I put in it. So what I did, I went to HEB, I bought a whole, well, uh, you know, like a slice of salmon. I brought it home. I cut it into four pieces, like four steaks, basically. I put butter inside the pan. I let the butter get really, really hot, where it's actually started like popping a little bit, like regular grease. Once it got hot, I went ahead and seasoned my salmon, salt, pepper. I put salt, pepper, a little bit of seasoning salt on it. I used regular butter. They say to use a stick of butter, but I use the butter inside of the tub. Because butter is butter to me. I prefer the butter in the tub because it's more softer when you want to make, make like toast in the morning. It spreads really easy versus the stick of butter. After the uh, salmon cooked for four to five minutes on one side, I flipped it over. I took the excess lemon juice that I had and squeezed it into a separate bowl. Again, once I cooked the salmon on one side, I actually put the squeezed lemon inside the bowl and used a spoon to actually put the seasonings, the lemon juice and butter on top of the salmon as, as I cooked it. So it's a really, really easy process um, if you guys decide to make this meal at home. Um, I actually had a couple extra slices of lemon that I used. Now I actually fried those to give the side that didn't get the exposure to the lemon more exposure to the lemon. So, there you have it guys. Um, so that's how you cook salmon on top of the stove and give it that lemon flavor, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you want more cooking videos, man, leave me a comment after the video. If you want me to try that meatloaf tomorrow, send your boy some messages and let me know to try the meatloaf and I'm gonna figure out how to cook it. If you guys can send me a recipe on how to make meatloaf, I will actually use your recipe in the video tomorrow. So send me your recipe on how to cook meatloaf and I will actually cook, I will, I will choose one of you guys and cook the meatloaf your way to see if it comes out the way that you would normally make it at home. But anyway, man, I love you guys, man. Until next time, it's Damien Cryer. I'm gonna see you in the next video. I love you guys. Peace.